everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I made any content, but uh, I've been getting a lot of comments on some of my older videos and uh, messages on Instagram telling me, hey, make some more videos. We miss, uh, miss seeing stuff. So I'm gonna make a new video here about uh, making some parts. So a while back when I bought the Monarch, actually, I got this Lyle drill grinder. It's just like the one that A-Bomb 79 has. And uh, it was missing a few parts, but I didn't have any way to know what the measurements were. It's not like Lyle published uh, dimensions or anything like that. So I actually, this week, found a, another Lyle drill grinder. This one's a little bit older than the one that I had first, but it was complete other than the diamond dressing um, stick. And so I'm gonna make all the parts that I need. So I'll have two complete ones. I've got a couple of friends that are eyeing this one to maybe buy from me. Um, if they don't, then I'll probably clean it up and repaint it and put it on uh, Craigslist or uh, maybe even on eBay if I don't get any bites locally. Uh, but yeah, let me bring you in closer and I'll show you what we're making. So the part that is a non-optional part to make this thing function is this little turret is what they call it. So this is an aluminum piece that um, sits on this guy and you align it your point angle so if 118 degrees or you can do a flat bottom drill 180 whatever um, and then the, the drill carriage that actually holds onto the drill slides into here kind of like this and so this piece is not something I could just guess about so I, I couldn't you know just look at photos and decide, yeah, that's what I'm gonna make. So it's got quite a few features on it. That's gonna be the, the most difficult one to make, but still not that hard. And then I've gotta make a bar for the diamond dresser. The diamond um, goes in there. And then I need a, a couple of thumb wheel screws. Actually, probably just one is, is enough. I need this little custom hex stud. And then I need a shaft that uh, this whole assembly rides on with a mounting plate for this guy. And so here's my raw material. And uh, this video, we're gonna focus on the lathe work. So let's go turn the Monarch on and we will start making some chips. We'll just go easiest first and uh, cut this down. This is a little bit undersized uh, 5 8 So we've got some 5 8 material and we'll turn it and then we'll have to put some dimples in there for set screws. Should be pretty simple. So somebody has asked uh, a couple of times, different people have asked, you know, how, how loud the lathe really is. Um, my microphone is right here on my shirt, so I'm not having to yell across the shop to let you guys hear me. Uh, but just for a point of reference, it's about 80 decibels. Obviously not a real sound pressure meter, but it gets you in the ballpark at least. So. That's uh, running at 455 RPM with obviously no cu no cutting load. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's actually pretty quiet. It's maybe a tiny bit louder than my LeBlanc that obviously had a lot less weight and gearing in it to be uh, slinging around, so no complaints.
All right, so I've got the uh, chuck changed over and we've got our aluminum stock for making the hardest part of this adventure, which is uh, the turret here that the, you know, drill, carriage, whatever you want to call it, sits on. So this is a uh, two and a half inch stock. We actually, we're just gonna make it round instead of hex because there's no need for it to be hex. So we'll go uh, down to two inches at the max diameter and then uh, three quarter down to here. Let's bump up that feed. That's gonna take the rest of my life. I'm off just a tiny bit. <clears throat> I think we're in good shape. Yeah, that's just what we want. I think we are all wrapped up on the lathe work. Uh, everything came out pretty well. I uh, had a, a little bit of an accident, dropped this part when I was taking it over to the bandsaw, which kind of sucks. There's a little ding on there. Doesn't matter, but it's annoying. Um, just, uh, just mill work left. There's some parts are super simple. This one just need two dimples for the set screws to grab onto. This one, I've got to uh, mill it down to size a little bit and then two half 13 holes and a clearance hole. The diamond dresser just needs that cross hole in it and it'll be finished. Um, the uh, difficult one, of course, is gonna be this guy. And I'm glad I did take the time to sit down and uh, make all my measurements just because of how many features there are and they have to be in time with one another. So when you're operating the machine, you've got this going pointed at you. There's an index mark down here that references against this little indicator point angle. So you've got to have that correctly oriented to this, which is where the uh, drill carriage goes. Otherwise you're gonna drill the, um, grind the wrong angle on your drills. So that's important to be in time with, um, I guess that hole doesn't matter too much relative to that mark, but the, certainly the, the, the bore that goes through the part is very important. So anyway, got that and then a couple of parts on order from uh, MSC and we will get this wrapped up hopefully in the next uh, few days here when I've got some vacation time for Christmas. Thanks for watching.